Hello! First day of snow here in PA. I feel like I'm in the Arctic. I was shoveling snow for a few hours, then I came down here to fill orders in the freezer for a few hours. I feel like I might as well uh, get an Eskimo girl to live with me at this point. And for those of you that say the word Eskimo is offensive, if I refer to her as you know, First Nation Native Alaskan, most of you would have no clue what I was talking about. Uh, even better, I could have been abducted by a Russian princess at this point. I've been acclimated to the weather. But uh, I had to turn the light on in here because it's, it's pretty late on Sunday. It's uh, a little dark outside. You guys wouldn't be able to see me in here. And uh, my eyes don't look too great in this lighting, but let's be honest, do they look good in any lighting at this point? Uh, I forgot to uh, send myself the list of announcements, so I'm going to try to remember best I can. Uh, Number one is that we still have uh, $6,000 left in the giveaway. So if you're a customer of mine and you know any mentally or physically disabled people, uh, please just send me an email. Uh, we still have six slots available, but uh, most of the 33,000 has been given away. Uh, number two, which probably wasn't the most important thing, but uh, some of the pickles were over fermented. Uh, I issued a refund on most of the pickles and we, we threw the rest out, uh, but the lacto-fermented garlic dill pickles, they, they were just over-fermented. Like some of you guys are saying, they're very, very pungent and strong and they're a little soft and mushy, so we issued a refund for, to everyone. Uh, if you guys had any issue with those pickles, uh, please let us know. We still have some of the buy one, get one free turkeys available. I think there's only like seven or eight of them left. So if you guys want to jump on that deal, this will be like the, the last chance all year. Yeah, bro, if I spend one more hour in that freezer this week, I'm going to move into an igloo. So let's uh, let's show you guys what's going on. So I was like snowed in at my house, shoveling myself out. So I came down here pretty late. I didn't get down here until like, I think 2.30 or 3 p.m. And it's, it's only like 5.30 now. So I haven't been working too long. But uh, you know, it would have been nice. To, I should have just called the guy to plow my uh, to plow my house, and then I could have just came down here and worked faster. Also, I was too lazy to put snow. My snow, I have snow tires. I didn't put them on my car. I said, "Oh, it's not going to snow that much this year." I could have just drove out my driveway without shoveling it. But whatever. So just walking in here on the naturals, I wanted to show you guys. We have more of the unscented body wash in stock. And instead of only having the curly hair shampoo and curly hair conditioner, we now have regular hair shampoo and regular hair conditioner. Uh, so that's available on frankiesnaturals.com. Over here on the foods, we restock some macadamia nuts, vanilla bean powder, and some chocolate. Everything else for the most part is available. Nothing new really besides the cream of wheat. Also on the foods, nothing new over here. We restocked a lot of the bars last week, the quinoa crisp, the granola bars. Uh, we will have the plain beef jerky finally back available and more importantly we have restocked the best bar so uh, a lot of you guys have been waiting for your best bar shipment we will try to get them out early this week so all the best bars should be out this week and then moving forward uh, you guys will just have them yeah i've been working hard in the freezer so my guys can do other stuff uh, we have the new batches of sauerkraut giardiniera pickles pickles over here uh, you know, we wrap them really tight, seal them up, make sure nothing gets in or out. And then we have some more of the Jardiniera over here. Pretty much the same as the last time. We just had to use yellow bell peppers instead of uh, the yellow small peppers that were like a seasonal thing. So even though we're sold out of all the pickled vegetables right now, uh, they should be back. That's going to take like two and a half, three weeks, and then we'll have them for you guys. I didn't think we were going to make it again, but... Here is the Vichy Soie. Very delicious. A lot different than last time. Uh, this has a much more prominent beef flavor because we, uh, we didn't put as much potatoes and leeks in it and we used a very concentrated beef collagen broth, but uh, I was having some of it earlier. It's very, very delicious. So I think you guys will be even happier with this batch of Vichy Soie. And the reason I, I sell it is because it's very nutritious. It's potatoes, starch carbohydrates. Potatoes are one of the healthiest foods you can eat. There's some leeks in there for flavor. And that's really it. It's just potatoes and leeks. Uh, there's a small amount of coconut oil and it's mostly beef broth. So it's very high in protein, amino acids, and collagen. You guys keep giving me crap for the smoke alarm. I don't, uh, I gotta, maybe I'll just put my ladder on some pallets so you guys stop bothering me. I, I, guys, I gave all my money away to disabled people. I cannot afford 
Uh, I cannot afford a ladder anymore. Also, could have bought a snow uh, snow plow, a truck, even even more reasonable, a snow blower, so I wouldn't have to shovel everything out myself. You know, over here we just got all of our produce in this week. Uh, these are some shiitake mushrooms. We're gonna make some more of the beef barley soup uh, this week. I gotta remember to go buy some wine. I guess my eyes don't look that bad. It's partially the lighting. Into the freezer. And I actually did all the orders myself this week, just to, as I said, give my guys time to do other stuff. So since it's Sunday night, we got everything to ship out to you guys tomorrow. Decent amount of orders here. These are all the, the regular orders we got. Plenty over here, express orders. And uh, just sorry, some of you guys, the, the turkey orders are a little delayed. Uh, we ran out of the big styrofoam coolers that can fit two turkeys in them. Those should be coming by Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. So hopefully we can send all the buy one, get one free turkeys out for you guys this week. Hopefully. This is the uh, shaved sliced beef. I might do a Philly cheesesteak recipe with this this week. Uh, I've been having it myself. I, I like it. You guys have been buying a lot of it. I went through all of our ribeye steaks. Uh, I found some prime ribeyes uh, that are looking pretty good, so I did relist those. This is the very affordable ground beef we have. 85.15, just like a generic brand, but it's less than $7 a pound with discount. Kind of running out of stuff over here, but got some fresh uh, organ grind in. All of our pork here running a little bit low on the Iberico ground pork. You guys have been buying plenty of the sausages. Got to restock some of the chicken too, but we got plenty in the back. We're running low on the Wagyu steaks, with the exception of the Wagyu New York strip, which we still have a decent amount of. I might put a slight discount on that on the website, so keep an eye out, guys. All of our soups and broths are in stock. Collagen broth. Actually, no, I lied. The beef stock concentrate, I think we're sold out of. Chicken broth. Down there is the beef barley soup. I mean, there's almost uh, none left. There's only a few left. That's why we're making it this week. This is the beef and bone broth. Should have a decent amount for another week or two. That's the chicken broth. And then up here is the, the plain chicken stew, which we're also running kind of low on. New stuff this week, guys. We got chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ice cream with the new and improved recipe. I forgot to try it last night at my house, so I still, I'm still a little nervous. I haven't completely tested it yet, but it looks a lot better. They, they said they used my recipe, so... We'll see. Uh, got a good price on some pipe cut marrow bones. So these are gonna be a bit cheaper than the canoe marrow bones just because they're not as convenient. So these are like pipe cut, you see? These are packaged like kind of two pounds, pipe cut marrow bones. And then over here we have the, the regular canoe marrow bones and then a, a small amount of marrow butter left, just pure bone marrow. You guys haven't really been buying these soup chickens, so I think I'm gonna sell these at a ridiculously low price and just uh, break even with my Amish farmer. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else uh, too important to show you guys. As I said at the beginning, uh, I think this is gonna be the last week or maybe next week will be the last week that we have uh, the buy one, get one free turkeys, then we'll just have smaller turkeys available. I sent out an email today, uh, last chance for potato chips. I probably should, this is probably one thing I forgot to say at the beginning is uh, we're gonna have to throw the potato chips out in like two weeks because they haven't really been selling that much. And I'm a little disappointed, you know, because uh, I mean, we're the only people selling organic quality chips, fried and saturated fat online in general. Maybe I can find a, a company that can make them for me at a, a more affordable price. Or hey, maybe, maybe another one of these degenerates will copy the idea and do it and point it off as their own. Hey, then I'll just get to file another federal lawsuit. <laughs> Got a little more free time, boys. That's why I'm. That's why I'm not down here. That's why I'm not down here working, killing myself every day. I'm studying for the bar exam. <laughs> no, but a lot of things happening this week, guys. Uh, as I as I showed you, we'll have the fermented vegetables back in stock in a few weeks. We're getting all the stuff back in stock on the foods website. The best bars. Uh, we're gonna have jerky back. I'm gonna try to make the Tomi's cookie bars as well. Uh, we're keeping up with everything and then this week. I mean just the, the last two weeks have been pretty pretty bad I, With the with the holidays my guys taking the weekends off both times I was down here working by myself and we, we did stay caught up, you know, you got 
we didn't we were able to get all the orders sent out uh, in time and then now this week moving forward we should be able to should be able to keep things in check but I don't think I have anything else to show you guys and I have to uh, I have to run to the pet store because I caught I caught a little mouse and I don't want to release him in the winter so I'm gonna go build a little mouse shelter which is probably I got. I should just throw the thing down the toilet, but I can't. I, can't, I don't have the heart to do that. I got too much. I got too much stuff on my plate to be, <laughs> to be taking care of a mouse, especially after he pooped all over my counter. But we'll save that for another video. Oh, what's also exciting that I might do is uh, we might have some Iberico ham. The the Iberico pork, it's famous for the ham, which is weird because we don't sell it. Like. We sell a lot of Iberico pork, but we don't sell what Iberico pork's most famous for. So I might bring in some ham. Uh, there's some producers, even though it's like below to the highest quality pork, that aren't as expensive. And like different cuts of the ham are cheaper. So I think I might actually be able to get you guys an affordable Iberico ham. That's going to be like $15 for four ounces, which is still crazy. It's still $60 a pound, but <laughs> compared to... Uh, compared to what Iberico pork charges in a restaurant, it's probably like $100 a plate. So compared to what it normally goes for, it will be very affordable, hopefully. But yeah, if you guys haven't, definitely just check out the meat website, the foods website. We always have new products, new stuff in stock, interesting, unique, creative health ideas. And it's kind of hard for me to stay on top of everything. Like I basically have like dozens and dozens of businesses built into one because like I'm, I'm selling sourdough starter and organic flour. And most people usually just like have their own small businesses on their own doing each individual thing so be sure to just browse around look on the website see if there's anything interesting and then you guys can always like even just search my youtube channel for videos on it to watch me explain it but uh hopefully we continue to do uh some new times as usual i guess new stuff every week me losing my mind oh i didn't show you guys how the new eggs are packed i'm inclined to let you guys just be surprised and find out you know what i consider it a trade secret my new egg packaging is a trade secret, even though as soon as I said that, one of you guys are probably going to take pictures of it and post it online. So just let me know. If you guys get the new eggs, whether or not you like the packaging, let me know. Um, it's, it's in styrofoam inserts now, so you don't have to, uh, you don't have to un spend all day unwrapping the bubble wrap off the eggs, but it does take up a little more space in the fridge. I guess I can, uh, how long are we going? We've only been going 20 minutes, actually, so I'll read some reviews, I guess reluctantly i might not make it to the pet store in time if i keep bsing five star review for the buy one get one free pasture raised turkey greatest turkey hands down ridiculously flavorful and met all my tender and juicy expectations the quality is truly unmatched yeah we've had a lot of positive feedback on the turkey if only i didn't buy <laughs> like i bought twice as many as i needed i think we bought like 400 turkeys we didn't even sell half of them so lesson learned so hey look next year if you guys are begging me for turkeys because we ran out, hey, tough luck. Another review for the turkey. You won't be disappointed. This is the best turkey I've had in many years. Uh, then we got an email on the female fertility su uh, supplement. <laughs> Frank, you crazy fuck. <laughs> this is some powerful shit. I was apprehensive at first when it arrived, so I had small bits, half a teaspoon to see how my body would react to it, and a cup of raw milk every three days or so. Just now, I took a scoop of the powder on its own. I think this is how it should be taken because I feel it in my ovaries. Great stuff, man. P.S. Change out the batteries out of that smoke alarm. It's so annoying to hear it go off in your videos. Bro, I'm in the fridge for like two minutes every video and you hear it two or three times max. Oh, you know what? The smoke alarm in the freezer just started going off too. And I gotta, I, I'll have my electrician come change that because that one's like 25 feet up in the air. That's a little too high for me. But yeah, no, um, that's how I take, it's better to take the organ supplements powders on uh, an empty stomach in the morning. That's what I actually, that's why I, pr that's probably the only reason I had the energy to do all the stuff I did today. I woke up, I took like the male virility and the third eye first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Then I went outside to shovel snow for two hours and then I drove down, I had breakfast and drove down here. So organsupplements.com, everything's available guys. We might have some new stuff in like a month. But the shipping's either free. The shipping's on there is free, so there's no reason to not get anything now. Five-star beef for grass with beef liver. Great liver. Tastes great, raw and cooked. Girlfriend loved it as well. Listen, 
if you guys are are, for, are giving your girlfriend liver, don't come, don't come crying to me when your relationship like, I'm, I will not be responsible for problems in your relationship if you're making your girlfriend eat icky foods. Get her a ribeye steak next time. Five star review for the organic jardiniera lacto fermented. I'll admit I was a little nervous about trying this after Frankie mentioned how strong it smelled, but it was really, really good. I had to stop myself from consuming the entire jar in one sitting. Hey, I'm glad you guys like it. I like it too. My guys, my guys put too much oregano in this batch. So when I came in, I had them rinse it off. And now there might not be enough oregano, but we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> guys, I'm losing my mind. The the, the pick the pick I like how we, we made the pickles for the same duration of time that we did the first time and they turned out great. Now Maybe it was a little too, a little warmer, a little too hot in there, and they ferment. But like, for me to just be quality control and everything, it's just, it's insane. I'm trying. I can't multiply myself three times. You got a five star view for the organic potato chips. Best chips I've ever had, dude. Those sea salt shiitake mushroom chips are addictive. Extremely clean, didn't bloat me, and I actually felt good after eating them. The flavor was out of this world, man. Those are easily a ten out of ten in my book. Plus, the Wagyu towel gives them this layer of fat that is to die for. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like the chips. Hopefully, uh, uh, I, th I think we're going to – hopefully, you guys buy some of them. I'm going to throw the rest out at the end of next week, and then I'll see if my Amish farmer has more potatoes. If not, we might not have potato chips for a while. I don't know why I'm reading these reviews for the fermented vegetables because we don't have any in stock. Five-star review for the organic sauerkraut, lacto-fermented, addictive. I've never liked sauerkraut growing up and figured why not, let me give it a chance. Dude, this shit is incredible. I'm pissed I ran out of it already. January 7th, so two, three weeks from now, we should have the, the fermented stuff for you guys. Someone just left me a comment on my short, Aliens in Miami. Your jokes are really creepy now that you look scary. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are very kind. Anyway, thank you guys for joining frank-stefano.com to see all the businesses. And uh, I'll see you guys. Probably just do some shorts this week. I don't know how many videos I'm going to end up doing.